my name is Andre Ornberger. I'm the Electrical Engineering Manager here at Thermalcare, and today we will be discussing the NQ Series Corel Controls. So you just received your Thermalcare NQ Series chiller. Water and electrical connections have been made, and you're ready to start the chiller. Upon the power being provided to the chiller and turned on, the home screen will be shown on the home screen. Uh, there's some important information that's shown as well as some menu buttons. Uh, starting on the top left is the actual menu button to get into some more of the high level uh, configurations. Uh, on the screen you'll see the message center which will show any of the running states, uh, alarms, chiller set point, uh, and some other miscellaneous temperatures. Uh, on the bottom we have our home, which would always bring us back to this home screen, the alarm uh, button, which would present the alarm screen back. And this button here is to reset any of the active alarms. Is your start stop button right here. It might be necessary to change the chiller set point. This can be accomplished by touching the existing set point and logging in with credentials that can be found in the user manual. Once you're logged in with the appropriate credentials, uh, you can manipulate the set point by touching the up and down arrows or by directly dialing in the temperature that you would like the set point to be. In this case, I've changed the set point to 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Regarding security, there are various ways to get into the ability to log in with your credentials. One of the ways is simply touching the set point, which will present to you the login screen. Another way is to touch the menu, press the security button, login, which will present the same login screen. By default, we have three levels of security. There is user, supervisor, and administrator. Please refer to your user manual for the passwords associated to those usernames. Another great feature of our operator interface is the LED light bar located to the right of the HMI. If there's no active alarms and the system is not running, it will be blue. When the system is running without any active alarms or warnings, it will be green. If there's any warnings in, within the system, the light bar will be yellow. And if there's any alarms, the light bar will turn to red. This is great because you can see it from uh, some distance from the chiller and not necessarily need to be right up on the chiller to know that you have valid operation. Uh, I can show you uh, upon pressing the start system button, uh, the system will transition from the blue LED bar to the green. So from a distance we can see that this system is running, uh, there's no warnings or alarms. If you're looking for some diagnostic information, it can be achieved by going to the main menu. Touch the main menu uh, button on the top of the screen. On the main menu, you have alarms, security, diagnostic, input outputs, and trending. We've already gone over the alarms and the security. The next button here would be the diagnostics button. Pressing the diagnostics button presents a couple different menus that you can go uh, deeper into. Circuit, process, export data, pumps, and hardware. Touching the circuit data will present uh, some of the refrigeration information, uh, compressor status, uh, fan status, um, and some other, uh, other information relative to hot gas bypass. Uh, this would be your diagnostics information to check to see if the chiller is performing uh, within the appropriate parameters. Additionally, if you'd like to see the status of the system I.O., this can be achieved by going to the main menu, touching the inputs outputs button, and you have some options. Temperature inputs, analog inputs, analog outputs, pressure inputs, digital inputs, and digital outputs. For example, by touching the temperature inputs, uh, you can see that the process return, supply, evaporator leaving temperature, refrigeration suction temperature, and refrigeration liquid temperature are shown on the screen. Another excellent diagnostic feature is trending. We do offer both visual trending and data logging. In regards to data logging, please refer to the user manual. We do offer the ability to data log 
um, all the parameters which can be exported to USB thumb drive. Uh, relative to visual trending, back to the main menu, press the trending button, and you will see uh, five parameters that we trend over time. The parameters are the process return temperature, the process set point, the evaporator out, process supply, and the hot gas bypass percentage. You can view uh, as stated over time, uh, and you can manipulate the screen by simply dragging the screen uh, to the appropriate time that you would like to see any activity. In order to reset the trend, hit the reset time in the upper right hand corner, which will bring you to the current time. Another feature of the control system is the ability to view the two process temperature in a larger format so that you can see it from an extended viewing distance along with the status bar. In order to achieve this, press the main menu, go to the second page of the main menu, touch the full screen. This will present both the message center the, and the, process, the two process supply temperature. So from, an, from a distance, you can see the, that your system is performing and you are running with the green LED bar. In closing, this provides a general overview of the NQ series Corel controls. Thank you, and I hope you learned something.